An eyepiece is one of the most important parts of a telescope. At some point in your stargazing journey, you will need to buy better eyepieces. In one of our previous videos, we explained in detail the basics of an eyepiece. So before buying an eyepiece, you need to know why you want a new eyepiece. There can be two reasons for this. One is you want better views. It is possible that your current eyepieces don't have very good results and you want to upgrade to good quality. The second reason is that you want to cover particular magnification, which you can't get with your current set of eyepieces. So buying the right eyepiece is kind of a task. As the Celestron telescopes are classified into different types of series, similarly the eyepieces are also classified into different types of series. Today in this video, we will briefly see the different series of eyepieces manufactured by Celestron. First series is the Omni series. Omni series eyepieces are simpler and cheaper. In the Omni series, all the eyepieces are the Plossel eyepieces. The Plossel eyepieces are very popular. These eyepieces are perfect for the price you pay for. These eyepieces are coated for maximum light transmission. There are seven eyepieces in the series. They are in the range of ranges from 4 mm to 56 mm. All of them offer a 50 degree field of view. The design is sturdy and the build quality is high. The optics of these eyepieces are superb overall. These series eyepieces are very cost effective. One thing to note is that if you already have Plossel eyepieces with your telescope, then going with Omni eyepieces will not have a huge advantage. If you've got something simpler with your telescope, like the Kellner eyepieces, then an Omni series eyepiece will be a good choice. Second series is the Celestron Elux eyepiece. This series of eyepieces offers you the more light gathering capacity to enjoy low light, wide field views. There are three eyepieces in this series, 26 mm, 32 mm, and 40 mm. All of them are multi-coated eyepieces. Also, an important thing to notice is that all the eyepieces in this series have a 2-inch barrel size. This series offers a 56-degree apparent field of view, which allows you to view larger celestial objects. These eyepieces are three-element Kellner eyepieces. These eyepieces have rubber eye cups and long eye relief. So using these eyepieces for people with and without glasses will be easier. Third series is the XLLX series. These eyepieces are made up of a six-element optical set. They have high transmission and are fully multi-coated. They are usually optimized for planetary viewing and offer a 60-degree apparent field of view. This field of view will be enough for viewing the moon, planets, and many deep space objects. There are seven eyepieces and two Barlow lenses in this series. All these eyepieces are parfocal which means that you can easily switch to another focal length of this series and your telescope will not lose focus. All these eyepieces have 16 millimeters of eye relief. It is good for people who wear glasses. The black colored body of these eyepieces is made from anodized aluminum. These eyepieces have pop-up eye cups, which makes it easy for spectacled and non-spectacled people to use the eyepiece conveniently. These eyepieces have a thread-like rubber grip on the outer side. It's useful while handling these eyepieces in moist weather. Its grip provides a slight cushion for shock absorption if it falls on the side. Fourth series is luminous. When you want to look at deep space objects such as galaxies or nebula, then you do not need high magnification. Galaxies and nebula look good when you see them as a whole. For viewing deep space objects, you need a wide field of view. The Luminous series of Celestron does exactly that. The eyepieces have 82 degrees of apparent field of view. There are six eyepieces and one 2.5 times Barlow lens in this series. The first smaller three eyepieces have a 1.25 inch barrel size, and the other three bigger eyepieces have a two inch barrel size. These eyepieces have six to seven lens elements which work together to give you a flat 82 degrees of apparent field of view. All the eyepieces in this series are parfocal. These are somewhat premium eyepieces and will cost you a little bit of money. If you want a good image quality, then you need these eyepieces. Fifth series is the Ultima Edge series. 
As the name of the series is Ultima Edge, the eyepieces in this series are manufactured for getting sharp views from the center to the edge of your field of view. When you have a normal eyepiece, you get a slightly curved field of view. The image also loses quality around the edge. This is not much of a problem when you observe through a telescope, but it is a problem while doing astrophotography. So these flat field eyepieces were created to provide an ultra-sharp, ultra-clear, crisp image from the center to the edge of the field of view. There are five eyepieces in this series. Out of the five, first four have a 1.25 inch barrel size, and the biggest one is a two inch barrel size. These eyepieces have five to eight lens elements. All these lenses are multi-coated for maximum light transmission. All these eyepieces are also parfocal within Ultima Edge series. The eye relief of these eyepieces ranges from 16 millimeters to 29 millimeters. So they are good for both glasses wearers and non-glasses wearer types of observers. These eyepieces are premium and will cost you a little bit of money. If you're looking for all those crisp and sharp images, then this series of eyepieces is for you. We hope you understand the different series of eyepieces offered by Celestron and the purpose of each eyepiece series. If you liked this video, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.